Appalachian Wireless now has new forward pay pricing, where you can pay up front and get the data and features you desire. Five gigabytes of data, just $39.99. Unlimited, just $79.99. Better service, bigger savings. That's today's Appalachian Wireless. February 28, 1958 is a date that many in Floyd County and throughout the region will never forget. It's on a Friday morning and buses were pulling into Prestonsburg High School or this area, the grade school up here that used to be, but one bus didn't. At 8.10 a.m., bus number 27 carrying 48 students plunged into the icy river near Prestonsburg. 22 students survived, but 26 students, along with the bus driver, died. At that time, there was no Floyd County Emergency and Rescue Squad in Prestonsburg or anywhere else in the state, but that crash changed everything. They saw the need to have an organization that helped people when they needed help the most. The paperwork was actually signed on the backs of people on that riverbank while they were searching. Uh, and there uh, is when the charter members were formed and things began for the rescue squad. Less than two months after the deadliest school bus crash in the United States, the Floyd County Emergency and Rescue Squad was formed, which was the first of its kind in the state of Kentucky. Former Rescue Squad Captain Tim Cooley says he believes the Floyd County Rescue Squad's Swiftwater Rescue Team remains the number one team in the state today because of those 27 lives that were lost. Because of 26 children and a driver and 22 that had to live with it the rest of their life, that made it off that bus or survived, look at how many people that squad's probably saved. That's a testimony right there. Monuments stand in remembrance of the 27 who died on February 28, 1958, both at the Floyd County Emergency and Rescue Squad office and the actual location where the bus crashed into the river. In Prestonsburg, I'm Shannon Deskins, EKB News.